Welcome to the Daily Minute. The true believer understands we fall so far short of heaven and the great sacrifice our Savior had to make on our behalf. These and many other aspects of the Christian faith can lead people to base their faith on feeling instead of fact. Let's hear what Paul had to say about this. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9. For this reason we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Now God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The God, who, the God who died on the cross to save us from our sins is the same one who wrote the wisdom literature of Proverbs. If we are going to grow to be more like our Savior, more like the God who redeemed us, we need to grow in wisdom. We must realize we don't have it yet, that we need to ask the Lord for it in our prayers. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for this great day that you've given to us and all you've done for us today. Father, we do ask for wisdom. Father, we need to, to know what it is that you want us to be doing. So we ask for, for that kind of wise counsel. The Father, would be entering into us by the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you and praise you. Present in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for spending time with me in God's Word today. If you have a question, a prayer request, or would like to receive these devotions and readings directly, send your request to shine the light for him at mail.com. Tomorrow in the Daily Minute, we're going to look at something else we need if we're going to be filled with the knowledge of his will, spiritual understanding. Thank you, and may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.